Welcome back to the Proto Art. Full disclosure, this is like the third time I tried this video. I had a hard drive crash and everything. But anyway, this is a very quick review slash demo of using the Squid Brush Pack from Frankentune. Uh, it isn't free, however, I thought it was a really cool looking brush pack, so I wanted to check it out firsthand and see what it could do. Um, when you download it, it comes with a PDF document. Um, it comes with, of course, the brushes and some of the demo photos. Um, I also downloaded one of their other additional FT Tune Inker things. So when I open the PDF, it kind of just shows you what the brushes look like, um, which look cool. But the one thing I did find frustrating is the demo, as you can see here, uh, is labeled differently than what the actual brushes is. I wish they actually labeled the brushes correctly, so I took some time and actually did it myself. So from what I found, their line work brush, how they have it pointed to, is actually the FT Sunday Strip Brush. The stippling brush is the Grainy Inker B. And the shading brush is their Dynamic Ink B. It's a very similar pattern. And the Ink Wash brush is the Fuzzy Inker. Once I had that figured out, I kind of was able to proceed with my own drawing. So they also don't include a paper texture, which I found kind of strange, but I found one line that was kind of similar. So I just imported that into my uh, Procreate session here and then uh, proceeded to get to work. So I just took a picture, a picture and played around with the liquify tool and uh, kind of created this little funny looking image. So then I proceed to do the inking with the uh, liner brush. Um, and honestly, the longest part uh, was just trying to figure out what brushes were used in the demo. But once, like I said, once I had that figured out, I was able to do this. So I just very like loosely and roughly uh, traced my image here. Of course, if this is a commission piece, I'd take a lot more time and refine all the details and kind of rework the shape and just exaggerate the different things and make it look a little bit more funny. I kind of bounced back and forth between the original image uh, in their demo and my own just to see if I'm using it like kind of how they did um, So I used their ink wash brush Which again was originally called the fuzzy inker to add different value if you're not sure what that is It's just uh, another word for like shadow Like in your highlights and stuff. So you want to create like that that contrast what they call it value So I'm adding different layers of the wash to create value uh, every time you pick up your pen and place it back down, it makes it darker. So you can kind of create a lot of dynamic range in that sense um, with the lighting. Um, and it can be really fun and creative, especially if you're using like colors and stuff. Uh, there's similar like watercolor brushes that do the same thing. You can buy all kinds of different packs uh, that do that. Um, I think I have some for free on my Gumroad account. Uh, included with a bunch of other uh, stuff. There's over like a hundred brushes on there. If you haven't checked it out, I'll put a link in the, the uh, description below. Um, and this is meant to be a one for one like recreation. Obviously, this is just kind of how I envision they use these brushes to kind of create a similar thing. Uh, next, I use their stippling brush. Um, well, to create like these hatch marks. Um, and that was originally called the Grainy Inker B. Uh, there's different ways you can do cross hatching, lots of tutorials on that too. Um, different methods and stuff. I eventually use this one where you basically do like long hatch marks and then erase away different parts of the hatch line. It just kind of gives it this really fun and energetic line versus just like a plain old straight line. Um, there's tutorials from different people who kind of teach that. Um, I honestly was looking at old comics and kind of seeing how they do theirs. If you haven't heard of Jack Kirby, I'd recommend you check his stuff out. Amazing work. Legendary guy. <laughs> but anyway, once I had that figured out, I actually go back to the original image again and sample different color tones. Uh, and use that with the uh, grainy brush and the ink wash brush to just give this image overall more flavor. So what do I think of this overall? I guess like in conclusion, I want to say like for the $7 or whatever it costs, it's not bad. Um, I feel like there's other brush packs out there that if you save up, spent a little bit more, you get more bang for your buck. Like there's a uh, Elder Zikarov. I think I'm pronouncing his name horribly, but like he has some really dope brushes. I use 
like his uh, sparse splash brushes all the time. Uh, there's uh, George's, if you look up George's Mega Bundle or something like that, uh, he has a really cool one. I think that one's like 15 bucks, but it's like over a thousand brushes. And the Elder Zenkarov guys, his, I think it's like, might be a little bit more pricey actually. I think that one's closer to like the $20 range. Or maybe even 30. It's up there, but it's a really unique, cool looking brushes that really give you this like grungy, gritty style. If that's what you're going for. Um, and if you're going on the free side, you know, check mine out. Those aren't too bad. <laughs> now they're free on my Gumroad account. I'll put the links in the description too. Um, yeah, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial slash like demo. Uh, again, I didn't see any online, so that's kind of why I wanted to make this actually using this brush pack. Uh, this, you know, wasn't bad. This is from the Frankentoon uh, pack there, the squid bundle, I think it was. And it was like $7, but just follow what I told you early on in this video and you'll be able to kind of recreate the same style. All right, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.